All right, we're back in the garden tonight. We got a lot of training to do on the G13s, I believe they are. Um, I'm gonna do my typical training. I've already got a video on it, so uh, I figured I'd just do a time lapse. And then we'll also do a walkthrough and show you how the ayahuasca purple haze sprouts are coming along, as well as the rest of the crops. So uh, let's get training. So I figured before I do the training montage, uh, I'd give you a little run through of how the plants are looking. The G13s, the Cindy 99s, the Ayahuasca Purple Haze, and the Funky Kong. Uh, so these are the G13s. These are the ones that we're gonna be training. Remember we did a few different training styles on these, so that one is quite stubby, with a few tops. These ones are quite a bit taller. They do range pretty much evenly as a slope. But they all looking good and healthy. Cindy 99s. I think I've got thrifts going on here. I'll zoom in on it. Under the microscope, with the jeweler's glue, blah, blah, blah. I can't really be for sure. Um, but it definitely looks a lot like grip damage, which can be confused with the calcium or magnesium issue. But, um, and it's generally only affecting these two plants. But, um, I've got ladybugs coming in like two days. And these are the Cindy 99s, by the way. These are the ones. They are going to eradicate everything. These are the ayahuasca purple haze sprouts. All doing very well. And the new funky con sprouts for this one. Time to stop wasting time. I gotta get trained, so let's go. All right, so here is the result. Overhead view. Got, you know what? I, th I was thinking about it. Maybe I will take this one over. And that one needs a friend, so I don't know. Let's probably leave it. So, let's grow quite a bit thicker on this side than on this side. But either way, you can still see she's well aired out. Plenty of room for all of these branches to come up. Same over here. This ground is going to be thick. With all these branches come up. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be a crazy canopy right here. A couple of days. Then the stubby one. Same situation. Just got to 
nice area for now. A lot of those branches are gonna be coming up. Those branches right there. These ones inside here are definitely gonna come up. So she's gonna pick them up really nice. And then these younger girls, they're gonna get the same treatment, but not yet. Alright. We may as well do an update on the cat junkie Rosetta Stone plants while we're in here, right? Yeah, we might as well. These girls are huge! They're literally this high, but... They've stretched, like, from probably here in the last 11 days. Maybe here. But... Jeez. Looking super, super nice. Got a little bud formations going. About 10 days into flower here. 10 days into flower. Hopefully at the end of the damn stretch, but more than likely we're still stretching a little bit. Everybody's happy. Everybody's dancing. See if I have any notes on the training. Top three times, top five times, top once. Okay, so this one back here has been only top one time. That is, that's the canopy that I got with one topic. This one, five times, five topping. Considerably taller, you can see that. Both of these are. But that's five toppings. And this one over here is three. Been topped three times. You can see the difference in the canopies and training techniques. All of them have been lollipopped. Put these zip ties on here to keep them like tight because when I do my training here and I pull them outward, this initial top location ends up being like a wishbone so it'll split and just open the plant up. It did it on both of these when I was training them actually. So they both had to be zip tight. This one did not do that. And it has developed a really cool uh, little base here. That's the tree. It looks funky. It looks old. Anyway. That's how we're looking on the Cat Junkie Rosetta Stone. Much different feel going on in here, huh? Much different feel indeed. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Uh, if you like what I do, or you want to see more, or you're curious about how the Funky Kong are going to grow, or you're curious about how the Ayahuasca Purple Haze is going to grow, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and get notified every time I post a new video. I don't know why I have to say that. Everybody knows. Everybody knows that that's the thing to do, so I don't know why everybody has to tell people that that's the thing to do. Like, it's the thing to do to tell people that it's the thing to do. Uh, you get stuck in a loop. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Or until you'll see me anyway.